guys and welcome back to a long overdue video and a video I've been really excited about filming. This is going to be my homeware furniture haul slash home tour. Me and Alex have been out and about finding lots of different pieces of furniture and little trinkets and homeware pieces and I really really wanted to show them to you and share them with you. So without further ado let's get into the haul. Seeing as we're in the bedroom I'm going to start off with everything sort of bed related. Starting off with the cushions and pillows. I've always wanted so many like big fluffy pillows and cushions to kind of make this very cozy big bed that almost looks like it's just got loads of things going on. So I got loads of new pieces. These are H&M. I just went into the H&M in Westfield I think and they had these cushions. I can't find them online. I'll try and link some similar ones down below for you but yeah I thought these were really cute and these are just H&M. But then the main things on the bed come from a store called Christy online and they do loads of different beddings, throws, cushions. These cushions are from Christy. There's like a really cool white quilted pattern and they're so big so the inner kind of cushion and the cushion cover are both from Christy. And because I wanted a throw I got the matching throw that goes with the cushion. So we have this at the end of the bed and this is huge and it's so thick it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. So we have the cushions and then we have the pillows. So the pillows and the pillowcases again are from Christie's. They're just those really huge, huge pillows. But they're just super soft, super cozy and I have two of those on the bed and then the cushion and then the H&M cushion. So there's a lot going on here. But now I've got the cushions off, now you can actually see the bed and the bed frame. This bed is from Next and again I wanted more of a kind of princess bed, something very white, quite regal looking, quite cute. So this is what I found and we absolutely love it. The whole frame is white and the bed frame at the back is just so pretty. Can you see that? So it goes along the back. The thing on the back is almost like a lattice wall protector that was already here and I know that kind of looks like the bed frame and I kind of like that. It's almost like a double bed frame but we are also thinking we may take it off but for now this is the bed and the side tables are also from Next and they match with the bed so that's exactly why I wanted them just so it's like a full set so I have two of those either side this is Alex's it has this little cactus family going on from different cactuses we've either bought from Ikea or we even took some from a recent friend's wedding because she had so many she's like take them take them and the lights are from the Y company again I kind of felt like I needed tall lamps so I thought little small lamps would look a little bit tiny compared to all these massive cushions so I needed something a bit taller so again I have one on either side of the bed moving into the kind of lounge living space we have my absolute pride and joy. This is the Smeg fridge freezer. I always, always wanted a Smeg fridge. And there's one at the Gleam head offices and I was like, it's amazing. So I looked myself and I found this one with the fridge, with the freezer on the top and the fridge on the bottom. So we don't actually have much in the freezer right now. Peas, everyone has peas. And we've got some like corn mints, I think, in there. And lots of ice, because we like ice. And in the fridge, I mean, please don't judge us on this. It's a bit of a kind of cram everything in. We don't really care where everything goes. But lots and lots of little goodies. My favorite innocent coconut water, which is just the best. And we've got things for tea. I'm making a lovely cod dish for dinner. So that's everything. But look how much space there is. It's super cute. This is the pastel blue shade. I'll leave the exact number down below of the kind of model of this, because there are so many and I didn't even realise how big this would be when it came but I love it so much and I'm so glad I went for it. And by the way, the fridge is in this kind of area of the room rather than the kitchen because it's just a little bit too big so we've put it here. And then for the dining room area which is literally right next to the fridge this came with the flat, this table, I'm not too sure where that's from but I'll try and find out if I can. But these chairs are ours, these came from Ikea and um, we've got four of them obviously just in case we have some guests. Mickey and Minnie are permanently here always. And this plant, literally this plant I must have had about six, seven years and it's still somehow going strong. Usually I would have some beautiful peonies on here because I'm actually obsessed with peonies when it's summer and they're actually in season but we don't have any today so instead we have our beautiful plant here but yeah these are from Ikea they're actually really quite comfortable to sit on they're quite nice but yeah I thought they were lovely because this space is quite small I didn't want anything too obtrusive or too bright instead I used the kind of more see-through transparency of the chairs just to create a little bit more space I guess 
Okay, so this is our like snug area. We like to call it the snug rather than the living room because it is just a little bit smaller. Anyone that lives in London will know that London flats are a little bit tinier. So this is our little space that we kind of chill in the evenings and we love it because it is very, very cosy and comfy. My favourite thing in here is definitely this settee. Although it's more of a kind of a two-seater, I think it's called a love chair, something like that. Anyway, we wanted something else in here so that me and Alex could be a bit more comfy at nights. This came with the flat, so we just wanted something extra. So we got this from Next. There are so many different kind of fabrics though that you can get from Next. Like I spent hours on there choosing the fabric, choosing the colour of the feet, choosing the overall style. And this is what I like the most. This is what I went for. It's kind of like a really cool grey, slate grey, lots of different tones of the grey going through it. And I went for the dark brown feet on it. And it also comes with a little cushion. This throw my mum got me ages ago. And this, in fact, I think this is from Next. I got this for Christmas off my dad. I think that's from Next. Then moving into my side tables. These are from Oliver Bonus and they come as a set of two. So it has a marble top and it has rose gold legs on this. This is the larger of the two, but I just wanted something again that wasn't too dark or, you know, I just needed to fill this space with something quite bright. So I loved the marble top. But yeah, it's quite a strong, lovely piece. So on top of here, how amazing are these? So many of you told me where I could get these when I found one in can. But this is actually one um, as part of a set from Absolute Vodka, I think. And this is the Absolute Elix set. And it comes with a bottle of vodka and it comes with this. And all the proceeds of these go to Water Aid as well, which is awesome. So I wanted to get one of these. This little thing I got from like a garden centre, showing garden centres you those lovely little homeware pieces, so I don't really know, but I'll try and find one online for you. And these, I went looking for these and I found them in TK Maxx. If you're in America, that's kind of the equivalent of TJ Maxx or HomeSense. So I found some. These came in a set of four and they're like £6. So they go together. So this is the second table, almost like nesting table, so they sit together. So yeah, this is the second one. And on top of it, I have, again, I just got this from a garden centre, but I thought it was lovely to put a candle in there. And the last thing we picked up for the lounge are these cushions. These are from Oliver Bonus as well. I got them in the light blue and the peach. I thought it'd be cute to have lots of colour in here. So yeah, but they're just really great cushions. They come with the cushions as well that you can stuff them with. They're just super easy, but lots of nice colour on them. Yeah, I just got four of those. Keep them on here just to, again, just to brighten up the whole place. So, I bought the matching Smeg for toaster and kettle to match the fridge. Seeing as we had to buy them anyway, I thought why not go all out and buy things that we'll be able to keep for years and years to go with the fridge. So I just went all out and got all of them. They're actually brilliant though, they're actually really, really good quality. The toast is great, you know, it's just super cute and it's the kind of toast that literally pops out. So you almost have to almost catch your toast as soon as these pop out. Super cute though. And then the little kettle, I do love it so much. It's really adorable, so they were great investments that I'm super happy I got. And also a new cookbook that I am really enjoying at the moment. It's sort of, I've been trying to find new recipes for me and Alex to so mix things up a bit when I'm cooking. This I really wanted to mention. This is such a lovely new book. It's called The Social Kitchen, Food for Family and Friends by Shally Tucker. And this is written by the daughter of Shally Tucker. Shally unfortunately passed away and she was an amazing cook and baker and her daughter wanted to create a book of all of her recipes. So this is just the most wonderful book and it's absolutely gorgeous inside. It's just one those perfect kind of books to have in your kitchen really and it's a wonderful story and yeah totally in love with this right now and the last thing in the kitchen that is brand new was actually bought for us as a moving in gift from my best friend Rebecca she got us four tumblers and a carafe she's trying to say something about how much wine we drink probably <laughs> but these are gorgeous again these are from Oliver Bonus and like turning into the biggest Oliver Bonus fan recently hand wash only though don't put them in your dishwasher or you'll probably ruin them and they're like five pound each I think and then you also have the carafe as a little matching set. And also, have you seen this mug? This mug, I mentioned it on my Snapchat, I think, and a few of you asked me where it's from, and it's actually from Disneyland, Florida. Disney World, Florida. So if you are around there and going, then definitely look out for these. And I'm sure probably Disneyland has them as well. If not, I'm sure eBay probably has some, but it's my favorite mug ever. And the last things that we bought are in the office. 
first thing being another Oliver Bonus piece. <laughs> this is a cool frame and picture. It comes as is. Work hard, play hard, and be kind. I thought it was the perfect thing to have on my desk. Something I kind of live by. Work your butt off, but still have fun. So yeah, this is from Oliver Bonus. Everything else is kind of everything I've had before, apart from the chair. The chair is brand new. So this I got from Staples. I needed a desk chair. I was gonna go for something white. I thought it'd be really nice and aesthetic. But then I was like, there are no white chairs that are actually ergonomically um, correct for you. So this is really good on the back. So if you're someone who works at a desk and you need a new chair that kind of makes sure that you've got a good posture and you're not hurting your back all day, this is actually really, really good. And the thing I love about it is that you can actually put down, up and down the arms. So if it doesn't quite fit into your desk, you can put up the arms. That's really, really handy. But it's also really comfy. And the other thing I'm gonna show you are these handles on my desk. These were slightly different when I bought the desk and because I've got so much makeup in these, they got too heavy. So I actually end up pulling one of the handles off. So these are from Zara. They come in a set of two. So I bought four and I've got three of them, but they're so pretty. Zara do, Zara Home, that is, do loads of different types of handles. So it's definitely worth checking out if you've got a drawer or a DIY project that needs little handles. They're gorgeous. They're like five pounds for two. And the last thing, I think you've already seen this. This is from Ikea. This has all my bags, my shoes. These are from Muji. They're actually really dirty now. I need to give them a clean, but I've got my lipsticks all categorized and genreized in here by color. So they're all from Muji. This little box is Ikea. That's got all my pink lipsticks in it, if you would believe that. And then I've just got all my perfumes and everything here, just really, really organized. So that is everything I've picked up recently for my new flat. I hope you enjoyed this kind of format, just showing you. Obviously I can't sit and hold up the fridge, so that's why I wanted to kind of do a bit of a walking tour while showing you all the big furniture and big pieces that we just picked up. So I really hope you like everything. If there's something out there that you think I would love that kind of matches my aesthetic, let me know down below in the comments and let me know what you think of our new pieces for the home. We feel really cosy and really at home here. So yeah, we're really, really happy and everything makes our house a home. So I love everything I picked up. I hope you like them too. If you like the video then please do give it a like and if you're new here Please hit the subscribe button and come back again next time. It'd be great to have you I make two videos per week Wednesdays and Sundays So it'd be great to see you then and that's everything. So I will see you guys really soon and take care until then. Bye! Mwah.